everybody. Happy Kit Fit Friday. My name is Philip, and I'm a Kit Inclusionista and certified yoga teacher. Here to demonstrate the six essential movements of the spine. Now our spinal column is filled with this fluid. It's called cerebrospinal fluid. It's what lets our brain communicate and lets us do our work. So these six activities are a great way to prepare yourself to do the work that you have to do today at home or wherever you are. So we always start by grounding ourselves. So get those feet nice and firm and round. Gently bend those knees. We don't want to lock them. We want to be nice and fluid. We also want to take our shoulders and stand up nice and tall. And let's start by just stretching up to the sky. So stretch those arms up. Feel your spinal column pulling up. And then relax. Let's start those movements. The first one is a back bend and a forward fold. We're going to start, because back bends can be difficult for some people, take both hands and gently place them on your lower back. This will support you a little bit. Squeeze those shoulders back and gently bring the chin up. And the nose comes up. Stretch that lower back. You don't have to bend backwards, you just have to stretch the spine. Now take both hands, and bring them to your thighs, squeeze your shoulders forward, bring your chin to your chest, and get the opposite direction. So, hands to your back, squeeze the shoulders, chin comes up, and then squeeze your shoulders forward, hands on your thighs, chin comes down. Nice. Those are movements one and two. Next, we're going to twist side to side for three and four. Take your right hand and rest it on your left hip as close as you can comfortably. Take that left hand and rest it on your right hip. Pull yourself up gently and slowly twist. Now, keep your nose in line with your belly button. You don't want to hyperextend the neck. You want to just be in alignment. Feel that twist. Come back to center. Take your left hand behind, right hip, right hand on your left. Pull up gently, and then twist to the left. Let's do it one more time. So right hand behind, left hand forward. Twist. Opposite, left hand behind, right hand forward. And twist. Last two movements, movements five and six, are what my uh, spouse calls reaching for your keys. They have a side to side bend. So standing up nice and tall, keeping those shoulders level, gently take your right hand and slowly move it down your body. Remember, we don't want to twist at this point. We want to keep our shoulders parallel and gently twist down. Keep both feet flat on the floor. Feel that side stretch. Come back up and do the same on the other side. Gently squeeze your spinal column together. Feel that fluid freeing up. Last two times. One more. To the right. And one more to the left. And let's, let's start, let's finish, sorry, with one last movement. This is the forward fold. Most people think it's really important to get your hands flat on the floor. It's more important to get your chest to touch your thighs. So here's how we'll do the forward fold. Gently bend your knees, bring your chest down as low as you can, hands to the ground, drop your head, and slowly Straighten your legs to the point where you feel like a good stretch. Whenever you finish your stretch, always come up slowly with your nose coming up last. It'll reduce the likelihood that you get dizzy. So again, I'm Philip, certified yoga teacher, Kit Inclusionista. Thanks for taking a minute with our Kit Fit Friday. See you next week.